I just wanted to comment. I would work for dialogue in the product licensing or database licensing area, and um, along the along with the development of dialogue, there was another organization called MFAs, National Federation of Abstract Indexing, and these were all of the scientific organizations which were doing the abstracting and indexing of scientific literature. But it was organized by discipline. Uh, many of those organizations still exist. One of them is IAAA, and they still have their databases. And so it was a dialogue built on the basis of all of those scientific societies which did the work of tracking the scientific literature. The second comment I have is I teach at library school at San Jose State University, which happens to be the largest one in the world. And one of the first things I do is tell my students in online searching that only about 5% of the world's information is a bit is indexed in Google. And they're, they're floored. They just can't believe it. By the end of the course, when they understand what the world of information is all about, they realize that they need to use specialized services, specialized databases in order to find the right information. Any comments about that? I guess it's yeah, I, 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 I actually have a comment that, that uh, we haven't mentioned, but it, in hearing some of Deb's stories, emotional and otherwise, uh, and, and, and Jean Bedore there who just mentioned that, uh, you know, it was part of the strategic uh, uh, mission of dialogue, and I have to <coughs> give Roger the credit for this, that he felt that, um, uh, and, and Pete had mentioned the fact that we we had provided uh, uh, instruction on how to use dialogue, and, and that and that had to, we had to convince every database producer that if we're gonna we're gonna just do a cost recovery on this instruction, uh, that we're not gonna pay royalties on it, and 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 the reason for that is it was part of our strategic mission that dialogue be taught in every library school, starting in this country and then around the world. And we largely met that objective. And so there wasn't a library, and it was, it was like when I graduated from law school, I hate to tell my age when I actually graduated, they were just introducing Lexis uh, into law schools uh, at that time frame. And, but, but part of the strategic mission of dialogue, and part of its objective, was to make sure that there is not a librarian graduating from library <coughs> school that doesn't have expertise so they can become an instant strategic knowledge manager. Can I, I add to that? I just want to add Absolutely. That. Um, I just wanted to add to that too, is that um, we alluded to the help, the 800 number, but also Dialogue had an amazing training program for people like me who already were out of library school and had an opportunity to, um, I, you know, I did some training in school, but had an opportunity to continue to train, especially as I went into pharmaceuticals. I wasn't a pharmacist, but I knew I could learn, I knew how to search, and I could learn about it. And so. Many of the folks here were the instructors that I used to take courses from, and they were amazing. So I just want to say that that was huge as well after library school. Yeah, I'd, I'd, add, I'd add to that that uh, we, had, we had several sales offices around the country and around the world, and every sales office had a quota in terms of number of trainees they did, yeah. and, and we reported back to them you know, each month what all the training offices had done. The one in Chicago actually excelled. But, Ron Kamenecki uh, beat everybody else out on 